Hello and welcome to this second part of the tutorial about the integration between After Effects and Cinema 4D that is coming in the next version of After Effects that comes after CS6. So I have here a brand new version that is used by Adobe to present the new features at the NAP show and I have it here on my machine and I want to present you some of these new features and here we want to focus on this integration between After Effects and Cinema 4D. In the first part you have seen how easy it is to import a Cinema 4D scene into an After Effects composition and to render it here with this uh, Cineware effect as a layer in After Effects and now we want to go a little bit more into the details of this and in particular looking how this multipass thing is working. And for this what I want to do is I want to add some shadow to this uh, to, to this text here and make it such that the shadow is on a separate layer. I think this is the easiest case and uh, uh, often required use case probably um, such that you can control the shadow and the letters here themselves individually. So let's go for this back to After Effect uh, to, to Cinema 4D. This is Cinema 4D Lite, the version that will be included in the next version of After Effects. And let me first make the letters here a bit nicer. So we go to the extrude nerves and set them from cap to fillet cap, maybe like this. You can change here the roundedness of this. Um, and then if we want to have a shadow, we need to have a ground plane. Yeah? So we go here to our basic objects and say we want to have a plane. Here it is. Then of course we also need materials. I have prepared here already some material for the letters and now I have here another material that I drag onto this ground plane. And then what we need to do next is that we enable for these lights. So actually I have done this also already. For these lights we need lights we need to enable the shadow. So go to this is probably by default set to none and you need to set it to soft shadows or soft uh, shadow maps soft and we do this for the second light um, also. It's also already set like this. And now if we do some render, so let me just open here the interactive render region. You can see here we have now some nice shadows below our letters. Um, now the problem with this is, uh, oh, maybe these letters here are a bit too deep like this. Okay, now it looks better. Um, and the problem is now we want to have this on separate layers. Yeah, I mean, we can save it like this and go back to After Effects. And now we have here our nice uh, shadows, but we also have this entire layer and we don't want to have that and we want to have it on two separate layers. So one layer with the text and one with the shadows. How do we achieve this? To have them on separate layers in After Effects, we first need to have them on separate layers in Cinema 4D. And as you can see on this color here, I've added this extrude nerves already to a new layer by clicking on add to new layer. And now I will do the same for the ground plane. I say uh, add to layer and uh, there exists already a second layer. It's because I prepared it before. Otherwise you could say add to new layer, but I just add it here to this blue existing layer. And uh, now we have both of them on separate layers and, or let me first save this file, save, go back to After Effects and duplicate here this layer, Control D. And in the first instance, I enable uh, Cinema 4D layers and say set layer and say I only want to have here the first layer. And in the second instance, I also activate Cinema 4D layers, again go to set layer and say I just want to have the second layer. And now if I disable this one here, the first layer, you can see we can control the letters on and off and here we have the ground plane separately. Of course on the ground plane there is no shadow yet yeah, here. And why is there no shadow since, uh, I mean, if I go back to this effect and say set layers I want to see both layers. Now you can see the shadow is here, but if I say set layers I only want to have the ground, then 
the shadow is disappeared. And this is because any layer does not get shadows from other layers. But we can solve this easily by saying, okay, we create like a copy of our text and we do this by going to um, this here and choosing instance. Now we have a new instance of these extrude nerves here, so of this uh, text object, so to speak. It's like an individual copy and if we manipulate the original, this copy will automatically follow. And say we add this to this second layer and save this, go back to After Effects and now you can see, let's, on, let's only ha look here at the second instance and again make sure that set layers is set to have only the second layer. Now although you only have the second layer, the letters are visible and the shadow is visible because of course we have placed this copy of the text onto the layer, onto the second layer. Now, this is only half of what we want because we want to have the shadow of the text but not the text itself. And this you can get by a tag. So we select the uh, copy of this text, go to tag, Cinema 4D tags and choose here the compositing tag. And this is like influencing how this object here is rendered and we just disable scene by camera. This means it is seen, it, it casts shadows, yeah, but it is not seen by the camera itself. Safe. And this only affects now the copy and not the original that is on this separate layer here. And if we now go back to After Effects, you can see the shadow is here, but the text is not. And we have the text here on our separate layer. Now the remaining question is, how do we get from this ground plane here only the shadow and not everything else. And for this we can not use this layers features but this multipass features. So in addition to Cinema 4D layers we also enable multipass and here we can choose which pass you want to have. So this is the like the final result and then you can have diffuse, ambient and specular separately and you can also have a shadow pass and any other pass that you have available in Cinema 4D. So you can get each of them separately as an individual layer and now we have only the shadow here and nothing else. And uh, you can see that here our shadow is clipped so we should probably enlarge our ground plane a bit. And also we need to choose here an appropriate um, transfer mode yeah, like multiply for example and uh, now you can see this is without the shadow and this is with the shadow and this shadow here blends nicely with these other shadows in the scene and here are our letters here's the corresponding shadow and now you can correct this shadow separately from the remaining uh, aspects. Yeah, this is a nice thing of this multipass so I can drag in here for example a curves effect and say I want my shadows to be much darker. Now I have here a really really dark shadow. Yeah, or Original shadow, uh, darkened version of this. Of course this is much more that you want to have. Um, maybe something like this. But in general you get the idea. Yeah? And now the nice thing of this is really that you can so quickly uh, go back and forth be between uh, After Effects and Cinema. Yeah? For example, if you now notice, oh, our shadow is clipped here, you can just go to, to Cinema, go to your layer here and scale it a bit like this, make it larger and save this. And all the changes are automatically transferred to After Effects where it is now also not clipped anymore. Without shadow, with shadow. Really nice integration. Okay, that's it about the overview of these new Cinema 4D features in the next version of After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and join again for the next tutorial.